change. So you have a Kinect V2. You know that camera bar that came with your Xbox One bundle? Did you ever think that you'd be able to use it with your PC? More and more as technology develops, especially within gaming, we find new and interesting ways to leverage hardware to enhance our experiences. As an example, after I purchased a necessary power adapter, I managed to hook up my Kinect V2 so that I could take advantage of VR functionality within Star Wars Squadrons, the fighter pilot experienced by Electronic Arts. If you too have one of these and want to use it with your PC, let me walk you through how. Now for the first and least fun step. Opening your wallet and purchasing a Kinect to PC adapter. You can find third party ones for around $35 Canadian I would estimate, but more than likely you'll probably have better luck finding an officially licensed one by Microsoft for around $75 Canadian. If you do happen to be Canadian or okay with shopping with Canadian Amazon, feel free to look at my affiliate links in the description below. I appreciate the support. Once we have the necessary adapter to power our Kinect V2, then we can connect it to our PC. Once connected to the PC and to power, you'll want to install the Microsoft Kinect software development kit, which can be found among the links in the description. Now that the Kinect is installed, we're going to use a free software that you can download from GitHub called OpenTrack. OpenTrack is a solution for a number of tracking solutions, including the Kinect V2. In addition, there's a specific Kinect V2 plugin that was made by another developer, which we will also need. First, we'll go ahead and install OpenTrack. Once that's installed, we're going to move over to the Kinect V2 plugin file, which we'll need to extract from a zip. Using your software of choice, unzip the file and locate the .sln file within. In order to open a .sln file, we'll need to install Visual Studio. If you get the community version, it's free. In my case, I downloaded the latest version, 2022. You won't need to specifically select certain install packages, just go with the express install, and then ultimately when you go to access the .sln file, you may be prompted to install an additional software package within Visual Studio. Go ahead and do that for the sake of building the software that we need. Once the additional software package is installed on Visual Studio, you'll be able to open the .sln file. When you do, along the top options menu, you'll see build. You want to select build and then batch build dot 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 closer to the bottom in my case. While reviewing the available configurations within the project, you don't want to select anything except for the checkboxes on the far right under the build column. In this case, the only row necessary is the one listed as a release configuration. Once that box is checked, go ahead and click build. Visual Studio will make quick work of building that file, which will then be located within the same folder where you unzipped this solution. Inside, connect v2 open track, then bin, then the release folder. Here you'll find the necessary .exe file that you need in order to run the Connect v2 plugin. In my case, I created a new folder called Connect v2 Open Track and took all the files from within the release folder and pasted it into that. I'm able to move that folder wherever I wish, and ultimately I decided to create a desktop shortcut of the EXE so that I could easily activate it from the desktop whenever I need to use it. Now that we've installed all of the necessary software, it's time to configure. We'll go ahead and start by opening up OpenTrack. The input you'll want to select is called UDP over network. You're going to click the little hammer to configure and then select the port 4242 with a pitch of plus 90. Close that out and I would advise leaving the output and filter alone. You can leave FreeTrack 2.0 Enhanced and Excella respectively. Then start the tracker. Once the tracker is active, you'll see there's an option to stop it, but we'll leave it running. From there, you're going to open the Connect V2 plugin that we built earlier via the desktop shortcut or if you want to go directly into that folder in order to access the exe you'll see a command line prompt open up which will then show the software working once you know that it's open and running you'll see eventually that game data will start to populate within open track showing that it works now for some of the further configuration options starting off would highly advise if nothing else at least creating a global shortcut for centering the reason being is that tracking is not perfect so if ever you lose tracking of the face and it doesn't reset to the appropriate height or position that you're looking for, it might really throw you off in whatever experience you're using it for. In my case, it's Control Shift X. So as soon as I've found my real life comfortable position that I want to consider centered, 
then I will activate the center and that will be my zeroed out position, which I can then move my head around as needed. Furthermore, we have mapping for each of the individual axes. You can set it to be symmetrical, whether it's going one direction or the other, or you can do asymmetric. So for example, in the case of yaw, if you wanna be able to turn your head so far one way, but not so far another way, I'm not sure why you would want that, but in any case, it's possible. Same is the case for pitch, roll, as well as the X, Y, and Z axes. I find it very useful to have the tracking active as you're trying to make these adjustments so that you can see the way the ball slides along the measuring lines to assist with your calibration. You can also create individual profiles that allow you to specify these mappings for particular software experiences. I hope that was helpful to you. Now that your Kinect V2 is running, let me know in the comments what you're using your Kinect for. Are you using it for gaming? Are you gonna try and create some of your own experiences using the tracker? Let me know. If you found this useful, feel free to drop a like and feel free to subscribe. I like posting videos about how to do things as well as talking about technology and gaming. Otherwise, thank you for watching and may the force be with you always.